studio definitely has brought some of the best musical talents together on one single platform. And if you've seen any of the performances, more often than not, the collaborations are just pure musical magic. Coke Studios Pakistan began back in 2008 and it's had a new season every single year since then. Right now it's in its 10th season, so we gotta take a look at some facts. How's it going everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton. Welcome to another episode of FTD Facts and uh, I'm gonna put on some more clothes. Sorry, I was just trying to show off the results of me working out and hitting the gym. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, I think we're good now. But before we get into the facts, guys, if you love Coke music, hit that like button on this video. The concept for the show was created in 2007 by the Coca-Cola company. The show features music artists that are already established as well as up and coming artists. And it's the longest running annual TV show in Pakistan since 2008. The show's concept was then adopted by Rohail Hyatt. He was from the band Vital Signs. The show was also produced by him, along with his wife, Umber Hayat, as well as other band members, Shahzad Hassan and Rizwan Ul Haq. And yeah, from there, it was an immediate success. Everybody wanted some more of this. It started to be frequently broadcasted on numerous television stations, as well as radio stations in Pakistan. Now, when you watch any of the performances, like everything is so well choreographed and the audio sounds amazing, and that's all done live in real time. <laughs> It's not all cut up and super edited like these FTD Facts episodes. I'm telling you man, like if we had no editors, these videos would be like 40 minutes long with all the mistakes I make. Especially trying to pronounce some of those names out there. So yeah, as I mentioned that yeah, this is done all in real time. So like the artists as well as the sound technicians and the cameramen all have to be on point. In the year 2016, Coke Music Pakistan had 192 members. Yeah, their team consists of artists, producers, sound technicians. They have an in-house band as well as other supporting staff. So the whole Coke Studio team is like just one big family and everybody has an important part to play. And again, of course, they do produce an amazing show. So everybody has to be on their best game and they show that time and time again. concept of Coke Studio is to bring traditional South Asian music, which is played with traditional instruments like flutes and stuff like that, and mix that with more modern music that uses like electric guitars and synthesizers. And the results are always amazing. In season nine alone, they use a total of 36 different instruments. <laughs> Okay, so now this next fact is a bit of a throwback. You gamers out there may appreciate this one a lot. If you're too young to remember, the gaming company Atari was launched back in 1972. Games definitely came a long way from there. But between the years 2004 and 2011, Atari released what was called Atari Flashback, which allowed people to play classic Atari games. So this has HDMI, can play 720p, not that Atari games are high resolution, but you could connect it to your TV more easily. And that's what the staff does a lot in their free time. And it's pretty ironic because it actually sort of matches with the theme of the show, you know, to mix the old with the new. In a country as diverse as Pakistan, where people speak many different languages and dialects, artists from different provinces in Pakistan perform songs that represent where they come from and in the language of their people. So in saying that, if you're not familiar with the show, you could just imagine how diverse the music production is. Experience the spectrum of our music directors. 
On the Coke Studio platform, more than 57 bands and artists have performed. And some of these people have appeared more than once on the show. The first season had a live audience that witnessed performances from bands and artists such as Rahat Fateh Ali Khan, Strings, and Ali Zafar, amongst many others, as well as they had musicians such as Bohemia, Atif Aslam, Komal Rizvi, and they also performed in subsequent seasons. <laughs> Now, it's really hard to beat the competition when all the performances are just world-class talent. But there's always someone that ends up on top, and that person is Atif Aslam. His song, Tajdar e Haram, that song has just under 90 million total views at the time of filming this video, making it the most watched video in all of Coke Studios library. Even though the two nations, India and Pakistan, are seen as sworn enemies, for the most part, artists have always treated each other with respect. And it's not any different in this case, where a number of Indian talents have said to say that they love the Pakistani version of Coke Studio. It's just another example of how far artists can travel and the bridges it can build. But not just that, Coke Studio has also become extremely popular around the world, having gathered over half a billion total views from its artists around the world. So from the popularity of Coke Studio Pakistan, India launched its own version. It's all about playing together. It's all about finding your roots. It's all about bringing out your ideas in the most simplest way and sharing it with the world. As well as a Middle Eastern version was launched. But let me continue a little bit more about the worldwide effect of Coke Studios. It's watched in over 150 countries. What started as a television experiment in Pakistan has turned into a global phenomenon. People from all over the world have responded to Coke Studios and it continues to maintain its older charm, but now it can also relate to a younger generation. On the 10th anniversary of the show this year, 2017, the general manager of Coca-Cola Pakistan and Afghanistan, Rizwan Khan, he stated this, we have come a long way since we embarked on this challenging journey a decade ago. Looking back, we feel greatly humbled that Coke Studio has been able to achieve so much in terms of bringing virtually unknown or little known musicians into the national limelight, reintroducing music genres like Qawwali and Sufi music to the youth of Pakistan, continuing to stay true to the promise of producing quality fusion of music and practically playing an important role in reviving the music industry of Pakistan. And that concludes this episode on Coke Studio Pakistan. It's truly an amazing and entertaining show. I highly recommend watching it. And thank you guys so much that had requested this video. This episode of FTD Facts was brought to you by Grammarly.com. Now, Grammarly is one of the leading softwares in the world for correcting your written English. There's a ton of spelling and grammatical errors that we make each and every single day, and Grammarly corrects that for you as you type. It's pretty amazing. The link is down below where you can install the software for free. And if you want to start improving your English skills right away, make the smart decision like many people in the FTD Facts community have already done. Start improving your English right away. And if you're loving all the benefits of Grammarly, like we here at FTD Facts really do, you can purchase the upgrade for even more features. How cool is that? Again, the link is down below in the video description. When you support our sponsors like Grammarly, you help make these videos possible. Go ahead and install Grammarly today. If this is your first time here on FTD Facts, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification because you don't want to miss any future videos. The majority of our videos are also done by request, so if you have any requests for future videos, let me know down below below in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.
you come to the end of another episode. If you want to keep watching some more FTD Facts episodes, we got some playlists right here. Take a look at some of the people that we've documented on this channel, as well as you can also learn about different places and cultures. We got all of that right here for you here on FTD Facts.